This is Tim with Sexton Lawn and Landscape, and I just wanted to take a moment and uh, talk about drainage and, and um, runoff from a, from a roof of a home and what impacts that can have on a, on a landscape. Uh, we run into, into this a lot in our area. We live here in the uh, Baldwin County, Mobile Bay area, so we get a lot of rain. This is one of the, the rainiest parts of the world, really. And um, it's important to account for how runoff and drainage is going to function in the landscape when, when a new design or, or new work is being done. And um, in some cases, not all homes have um, gutters on them. And so there's no way to direct the water as it's coming off of the roof other than the natural pitches and, and slopes that there are. And so something that we will do sometimes, I'm going to kind of pan the camera down a little bit. You can see there's these large boulders that are in. Uh, something that we'll do sometimes is, is kind of strategically place in stuff that will, uh, or features that will serve to kind of diffuse the force of the water as it's running off of the roof. And this is placed just underneath a valley on the roof where the water is going to run off and most of the time is going to hit uh, the large rock, unless it's a heavy rain event, it, it might come directly on this smaller one here in the front. But the purpose of it is, is to kind of diffuse the force of that water as it's running off of the off of the roof so it doesn't scour out the ground underneath it and then start affecting and, and undermining the plants or the root systems or, or whatever other features there are here in the landscape. So it's because uh, we've got a, a really large Japanese maple here and then some nandinas and azaleas and fatsias and stuff down here. And, None of those things are really going to do a whole lot uh, to kind of change the flow of water. It really is going to take something that, that can withstand the force of that water. And it's important to, to consider water really is a pretty strong force and it's something that has to be dealt with in the landscape. It's not something that will just um, kind of naturally do its own thing. Or it will, but you, you probably don't want it to. It will, it will de develop something that is is, uh, is not functional in the landscape. And so having that wa that stone in there, not only does it diffuse the water, but it also kind of provides an architectural feature that can be pretty useful in landscape too. It's pretty neat having stuff like that in there and it just adds to the design. So if you've got any other questions or if there's anything else we can help you with, uh, you can reach us at 251-626-3309 or you can find us on the web at www.sexandlandscapes.com or you can get us on social media at Facebook or Instagram or Twitter or uh, all forms of social media.